Hello, my name is Bethany and I'm a naturalist here at Tamarack and also a storyteller. And this, today I was having a snack. I love carrots. And the carrots made me think of a story. This story comes from a bunch of different places. There's a version from Russia, there's a version from Great Britain, there's a version from the American South, the African American and rare rabbit tradition. And today's version is just my own. One day, Bear was out for a walk when Gardener saw him and said, Bear, I'm planting my garden today. Your claws would be great for digging. Would you like to help me plant some carrots? And together, Gardener and Bear dug up the garden, planted the tiny seeds, which was challenging for Bear with his great big claws, and admired their work. Bear, said the gardener, you were excellent help today. If you come back and help in the garden, we could split what we grow. We'll split half and half. Now, Bear liked things to be fair. So he thought about it for a moment and thought and thought. <laughs> Finally, he said, okay, gardener, but we'll make it fair. You get the bottoms and I get the tops. We'll split it right in half. Now the gardener laughed and said, Bear, that's not what I meant. And Bear held out a paw. No, that would be fair. You get the bottoms and I get the tops. Bear meant to come back and help with the watering, but he found a strawberry patch that was too delicious to resist. And Bear meant to come back and help with the weeding, pulling up the plants that didn't belong in the carrot patch, but he found some fish in his favorite stream and spent the day fishing instead. Bear was on his way home from his favorite shady spot to nap when he saw that it was harvest day. The gardener was pulling up the carrots. Gardener looked up and said, Bear, it's been a while. I've missed you. Would you like to help with the harvest? And Bear said, yes, but remember our deal. You get the bottoms and I get the tops. The gardener just laughed and said, okay, Bear. Together they pulled up the carrots, snapped off the green leafy bits and put those tops in Bear's basket and put the orange crunchy bottom parts into the basket for the gardener. Now, Gardner took a few of the carrots and put them in Bear's basket. I know you said that you get the tops, but Bear, my favorite part is the bottoms, so why don't you try some of both? Bear took a bite of the leafy green tops, and it was pretty good. And then he took a bite of the sweet, crunchy orange bottoms and Oh, gardener, said the bear, you are right. My favorite part of these is the bottom too. Now later, gardener was planting another garden when bear happened to come by and gardener invited him in to help plant. Together they planted lettuce, digging up the garden, planting the tiny seeds. And gardener said, you know, if you come back and help, we could split these half and half. And Bear thought about it and thought about the carrots and said, okay, but this time you get the tops and I get the bottoms. Gardner just shook her head and laughed and said, okay, Bear. Now Bear meant to come back and help with the watering, but he found a patch of blueberries that was too delicious to resist. And Bear meant to come back and help with the weeding, pulling up the plants that don't belong. <sighs> but he found the very best tree to <sighs> scratch his back on. Bear was coming home from his favorite place to nap in the sun. When he found out it was harvest day, he saw Gardener pulling up lettuce. Gardener looked up at Bear and laughed. Bear, it's been a while. I've missed you. Would you like to help with the harvest? And together, Bear and Gardener pulled up the lettuce, took off the root bottoms and put them in Bear's basket and took the leafy green heads of lettuce and put them in Gardener's. 
And then Gardner took a few of the lettuce heads and put them in Bear's basket. Bear, I know that you said that you get the bottoms, but the tops are my favorite part. Why don't you try some of each? Bear took a bite of each and realized that the lettuce tops were much more delicious. And said to Gardner, Bear, <laughs> Bear said to Gardner, Oh, you're right. The lettuce tops are much more delicious than the lettuce bottoms. Bear never became a great gardener. He spent his summers eating berries and going fishing, scratching his back on trees and taking naps in the sun and the shade. But every once in a while, when he was passing by the garden, he'd ask, Do you have any carrot bottoms or lettuce tops to share? Thanks for listening to the story today. I hope that you get the chance to admire or plant your own garden this year, and I hope the next time you have a vegetable, you think about whether it's the top or the bottom. Thank you.